Hello, nice people. Uh, the GPS decided to reroute our track from Mohenjo-daro towards Bahawalpur through this village. You can see here, this is the Indus River we're crossing for the second time. And this river has seen a lot of generations of civilizations. One of which we just saw in Mohenjo-daro. After following the GPS for about half an hour and getting lost through the heart of Sindh, we decided to follow our instinct this time and try to get to our next destination, which Gigi I'm sure will be glad to tell you as soon as we will get there. Guys, we got it, caught uh, Gigi here. This is the first time for us visiting this beautiful place. Uh, as you can see in the background you have huge huge walls and this is a pretty impressive formation uh, it looks quite similar as, um, as Ranikot fort but I think this one uh, has a bit more taller walls but the same style they have the same style let's see maybe we can go up there for a little bit and record how it's gonna be like and uh, give you like a first impression of what the fort and like what the view from up there is we're gonna go inside Kodiji. no one knows many things about this place we're gonna explore it now and find out some more things elephant doors you can come inside with the elephant and what through there <laughs> okay i thought i thought like the only baby elephants can go inside this is so beautiful assalamu alaikum So we have to do the registration first and then go up. And this is so cool. Wow. It looks a little bit like Agra Fort. No, like, uh, like Agra? I don't know. This fort was considered invincible. Why? Because of its huge walls. It's like 30 feet walls and the elephant proof doors we just entered through so even though like this pathway where we are going up now it's super wide no one could cross those doors back in the day and that's the amazing thing and it looks very impressive really when you see such a majestic thing does it remind you of the red fort yeah it reminds us of the red fort in new delhi it looks very similar honestly so we are going inside the fort. Let's check it out. In the meantime, you can check out the view from where we're going up and the back. Imagine riding an elephant through this area. This is why this place is so wide. So you can come easily with your elephant all the way up to here. Can you imagine elephants coming here? Kodigi Fort. And this is a, are some beautiful domes and a beautiful valley. Wow, I love this mix of yellow and green and the houses on top of each other. This is so specific for Sindh. And this path goes on and on and on until the top. So elephants were going up here in the old times. Like right through that gate from behind me to um, up the hill. That's amazing. <coughs> oh, this is steep. Wow! There's not much information available yet here. 
but I think soon people is, are going to take care of it. I hope so. Just check this out. Wow. It's like stepping back in time. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fort. This is a very elegant fort and well restored. A water deposit or some... Ah, no, maybe a house before. Wow, just look at this. So, I am on top of Côte d'Igy Fort. So, as you can see, I'm having this amazing view, which is breathtaking. Wow. Michael, vlogging from the top of, of uh, Kodiji. What? I don't know. I have no idea, but we can find out on the internet later. Jail? Or maybe a water? Water something? Or a pool? Or... No. A prison. There's some stairs up there. Maybe that's like a place to keep the water or the food. Prison. As you can see, I'm already sweaty. Also because it's very hot outside. Even though it's like turning almost sunset. Uh, still hot. Still too hot here. I don't know how the people used to survive here during the heat. But definitely I need to find some shade. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, oh, there's a crack in the wall. Oh, oh, look what we can see from here. Acha, mashallah, very beautiful. Oh, nice, very nice. Boho zabardast. Boho zabardast. I've been running around the fort and I found out that this place is freaking massive. I mean, look. There is even another side. That's cool. So, Let's see what we find on this side. Behind this archway, we're going and we're going and ooh, at the end of the road, we have a very nice structure. Let me go and check it out. I finally reached the end of the fort. Oh wait, there's more. But, I mean, yeah, not that much interesting stuff there. But take a look on this side. And now, slowly, on the other side. And from here we have the most incredible view of the whole fort. As you can see, it's massively huge. Is there such a thing as massively huge? I don't know. But now it is, I guess. To my untrained eye, this looks like a throne place. Where somebody would sit and enjoy the view from. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You tell me if you know more than me. So guys, after checking this place out and running around like an idiot for the past couple of minutes, uh, I think it's time to make my way all the way back at the entrance and see where Gigi is, because I'm sure she has filmed a lot of interesting things and has a lot of cool things for you to know. And yeah, let's see when we get back. So guys, Kordigi Fort is um, 
really something uh, well maintained and it's very peaceful on top of a big oasis around it so i don't know the exact purpose of this place i think it was a military establishment maybe like more of a protection place but uh, i'm gonna research a little bit about it and i'm gonna tell you more Ooh. This is a nice place and we're going through this archway inside the small tower through this archway on the other side Achha. check this place out as the movie says how do you like them apples? Or in this case, them palm trees. This is the whole fort. Wow. Such a cool place. Finally found the other end. So, time now to head back. Because, yeah, I visited the whole fort. The cool thing about this is that we came here uh, almost at closing time which means that I was nicely allowed by the guards to check out this place for 15 minutes and I think I overstayed a little bit by maybe 10 minutes or so but I mean I'm all alone here there's nobody is me and this wonderful wonderful amazing fort now let's imagine that i am the owner of this place and i'm going to leave very bravely exit the big gates by the way the elephants could get inside all the way inside here cool So, where do I get down from here? Uh, let me see. Oh, I think I found the way. These are some narrow stairs. And I hope I don't break my neck because I'm wearing slippers. It was a hot day today and I decided to wear slippers instead of my normal comfortably shoes. And I had no idea that I'm about to go inside the castle a fort, sorry, not castle, fort. And climb on its walls and explore around and do all sorts of crazy activities that I do. Which is strange uh, coming from me because normally I do these kind of things. But yeah, next time I will be prepared with some better footwear. Judging from the music and the background, I can s assume that this village that we are in has a very big Shia community. Because it sounds similar to the Nohas that we've been listening in Skardu and uh, in Iran and yeah, they're nice people. So, this was the Cote Digi Fort. What do you think about Gigi? I think it is a very impressive monument because it's such good shape and it's huge. And I think it was invincible. People said here that it was invincible. Yes, exploring the whole fort looked amazing. Even though I didn't know what exactly the places are, but I kind of figured it out myself. I mean, yeah. It's beautiful guys, I Very recommend beautiful. you to come here because it's impressive like with all the pathways and elephants and it's, it's beautiful. Well, we didn't see the elephants but we saw the gates through which the elephants <laughs> could pass. So, thank you for coming with us and see you in the next one. Bye bye.